Hi there, in this video we're going to look at rendering in 3D with Blender on our Raspberry Pi. So we open Blender from the menu and I've not sped up this section of the video, this is how it opens in real time. So it's pretty fast, so I'm really happy with that. I'm not a very good Blender modeler, I've actually never used Blender before, so I'm just going to open one of the demo projects from the Blender website and Barcelona Pavilion by eMirage looks like a good example. It's quite going to be quite challenging. It's a 24 megabyte architectural visualization project. So we're going to get some photorealistic results. We'll not expect getting these results in a hurry. It's probably going to take a little while to process. We might be able to optimize some of the rendering attributes and settings to get better performance, but I'm going to just leave that alone just now. I'm just going to click the render button and render a single image. And off we go. And initially, it looks like it's not going to take too long. So first few seconds, it just starts calculating the top part of the image. And we can see that it starts to estimate it's going to take us about 20 minutes in total, maybe a little bit more. And we leave that running and running as it goes. So it starts off doing the sky. But then after a little while, we can see that the estimated time is actually jumps up. So even after almost two hours, there's over an hour left to go because we've started to actually render the 3D model itself, not just the sky. So there's a lot more work involved in that. The final result looks quite stunning, I think. It's a very detailed model with a lot of lighting effects going on, a lot of transparency. So there's quite a lot of things going on in that model that do take a lot of processing time and that's it. That's the final render just there. So some really nice colouring and lighting effects and a very nicely detailed 3D model. But it's taken a lot longer so it's actually taken about four and a half hours in total. When we're using Blender for modelling in 3D we don't need to do these photorealistic renderings from Blender so it's not necessarily a problem that it's taken this long for this type of, of render, but it shows what is possible on a Raspberry Pi. In later videos, we'll maybe be looking at using Blender and seeing more usefully how effective is Blender, what's the performance like when we're actually just creating perhaps quite simple 3D models, certainly initially, and is it actually going to be useful enough and productive enough for us to use a Raspberry Pi for game development? Meanwhile, we can save out our results and I will post one of those renders as well, just so you can see. But there it is. It does look quite stunning. That's all for now. Thank you.